Nope, I want fuel with me. Anti, I have some work if I can. I will come back in 35 minutes. Of course, of course. Feel free to. Go for it, Anti. And thank you for being here. So far. <laughs> and da, 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 this thing. I'm gonna save it. Another one, what is this? No, titanium, nope. Great. Maybe some more. No, that's not water, that's nutritious goo, we have a lot of it. something yep probably this is also ice oh it's exhausted I think we took everything and hey, there is a, a little piece whoops Gone. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm doing fine. A lot of progress today has been made in Breath Edge. How are you, sir? How is the day? This is what we need. Also, this. Wait. Ah, oh, it's an open coffin. Damn it. I thought we could open it. This is titanium again. Also, undo scooter violence detected. <laughs> yeah, it's a space scooter. Space vacuum cleaner. And doing all right? Oh, that's good to hear. What have you managed to do in my absence? Uh, can you see that up there? It's a space base. We have a little space station going on right now. And uh, we upgraded our jet accelerator. We upgraded our military oxygen cylinder. And we now have 250 oxygen. So we can go almost anywhere. <laughs> oh, there is another one. So let's head back to the station. We're slowly trying to move the materials to this one, but it's uh, not easy. But here we are. This is our home now. You build it yourself? <laughs> yeah, this game has space building. <laughs> space station building. At least a little bit of it. So, uh, yeah. Currently we are doing some research, because you can craft a research station and then you can choose something that will be researched in, uh, in due time. It was anywhere from 1 minute up to 20 minutes so far, real time that needed uh, for the research to finish. So you have a few upgrades here, and probably this is some endgame stuff. So you, need, uh, you can craft a vehicle later on. Defcon, huzzah! So much better than the original pod. That's very true. Actually looks complete, right? Not broken. <laughs> mm. 
Not br broken at all. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. Roll of fabric, lead paint and four aluminum. We need lead paint, so... Uh, and four aluminum. I don't think we brought that yet. But we also need to craft water because we don't have a lot of it left. So that's why I was collecting ice as well. Perfectly pristine. <laughs> right, Defcon? Indeed. And by the way, how was the weekend? Since it's Monday. The Mondays. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to keep three. And we're going to craft a few food packages. Nutrition package. So tasty and so nutritious. Great. Okay. There we go. Nice. That feels better. With a bit of water. I'm gonna keep one salty package and one nutritious nutrition package on me. And so for that research, research the engineering spacesuit which is which should protect us th from thermal hazards. We need two lead paint. So let's do just that. And DEFCON. So, not too bad. Had a parental birthday yesterday. All was well aside from the terrible rain. Ah, yep. The weather tends to be crazy these days. At least we feel that the autumn is here. <laughs> but the winds and the rains and all that stuff, it's quite unpleasant. Isn't it? Okay, I believe we are missing four aluminum. Most probably are. Hmm, I can put the electronics here for the time being. I will save it and let's try to check down there. I will just use our propulsion. Damn, it's so much boost. I feel like the little gauges on the on the sides of my center of the screen are not even decreasing when I'm when I'm boosting Defcon yep I vote we cancel autumn and winter especially well winter can be nice it's cold but come on don't you love snow I also love snow but just from the back of a very cozy window <laughs> no <laughs> Oh, I love snow. Okay, let's take all the aluminum. And look at the food. I should be emptying this as priority one. Can I redistribute? Not too much. I put some lead in there. Oh, we can redistribute over here. Look at this. Look at the piece of these. How much is left in this one? Okay, there we go, alcohol, let's keep it here, cool, 
quite a bit of nice stuff for the time being and we can maybe relocate this container up there right <laughs> not too bad defcon all snow does here is making the road slippery <laughs> yeah well at least i don't own a car <laughs> So no problem with that, really. Belden, I really don't like temperatures of above 20, so spring and autumn are the best. Yeah, the temperature can really get high, and it was getting worse and worse every year, right? So I really don't like those 30 pluses. And Defcon, I wouldn't mind around 20 so much <laughs> if it was consistent, so you... Most probably we'll need to find a country in that uh, in that zone. I don't know which country has a consistent 20. <laughs> Maybe you need to do some research for that. Defcon, neither do I. My bicycle slips too. I <laughs> know. Ah, yeah, that's, that's true, but still. Maybe you shouldn't then use your bicycle in, in winter or during rain. <laughs> Just saying. Of course, uh, there is a bit of good in everything. It's it's good when it's warm, but just normally warm, not 30 pluses. And even a mild winter is nice, but I still love myself a little bit of, uh, of snow. Uh, Defcon, but my heart is near 30 and I wish I could move to another country. Not use your bike? What is this heresy? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, <laughs> I'm quiet now. Okay, yoink, nice. We take the container and we can take all the things. Oh, by the way, the radio is off. <laughs> Some people were complaining that the the music is kind of repetitive and can get on your nerves in a while. There is no radio in the station. We actually build a radio, but it doesn't work. So, tough luck. Okay, can we start the research now? We can. 15 minutes. 15 minutes of real time. Belden, but why? What has radio ever done to you? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing really. I don't even listen to radio a lot. <laughs> I admit it. I admit it. Okay, we can probably move all of this down into that little station and leave it in the container because this is just taking up space these are the old upgrades it would be great if we could uh, disassemble those for materials but of course you cannot not right now defcon oh right yeah i can see it getting on people's nerves yeah it's like five tracks in a loop <laughs> poop in a loop If you don't know Poop in a Loop, uh, you should go and watch Paradise PD on Netflix. Okay, we have another container. Defcon, how was your weekend, by the way? Has Albo settled back down now the lady has returned? <clears throat> yep. <laughs> yeah, he has, but he's still a, a teenager. But, well... I would say that Sunday morning was really hectic for me because Albus did a number and he was trying to wake me up at 4.40 a.m. And he was kind of restless at the time, very much so, but I managed to kind of calm him down again and we went out at like 6.20 for the morning walkie. 
And then I had a lot of work before uh, my beloved come, came back with her parents because her parents were driving her back with some other stuff. And they, they didn't, you know, they didn't remain with us for too long, just maybe half an hour or so. But I had to clean up <laughs> the flat, get some stuff done. It was a lot of work for half a day. So, yeah, now it's better. <laughs> Should I put it in that corner? Oh, it's okay. It's nice. Huzzah! <laughs> Good, 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 good. Back. Hmm. Ah, whatever. Let's leave it in there as it is. Okay, we can keep all of this here because these are the construction kits needed to construct uh, the modules, like the habitation module, the large buildings. So you mostly need construction kit and maybe some titanium with it. I will put this down in the in the previous crash shuttle. And I will deposit this here, and also one med kit here. Okay, let's save and let's go down and get more stuff and move it over. We. Oh, sorry. Now we go we. Bump. Damn it. Toot, 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 toot. There we go. No, 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 no. I don't want to take the collectibles. That's not good for business. Engineer's finger. The engineer was married. I don't think we will need that, but maybe. Maybe later for some fingerprint scanner. It's important to know that it's here. <laughs> DC or U bot, sorry. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> wee times. <laughs> Just a little wee. Welcome, U bot. How are you today? Okay, we need to take this with us. With, with, with. And what's in the other container? Quite a bit of food. Hey there, Albus. <laughs> Albus was crawling across the floor to find another spot to sleep. Yeah. Burr, burr, burr. Not enough space. Not enough space. <laughs> right, Defcon? Indeed. Defcon says hi. You, but I'm fine. How are you and Elbus? Oh, we're all fine now. It's great. It's really great. Actually, he was one year and four months on the 5th. So two days ago, he was one year and four months old. <laughs> we are watching every month, like he has birthday every month. Okay, this is completely full. Uh, this is not completely full. But, okay, I'll take this and I will put this in here so that we have paint and lead. Well, we don't really have paint and lead in the same place, right? So probably we'll do it like this. <laughs> Maybe salt, whatever. Such a pampered pupper. <laughs> yeah, I bet he gets weekly Scooby. <laughs> Scooby snacks. <laughs> he has a lot of snacks. 
he definitely has a lot of snacks and he even has i guess a, a lot more toys than the usual kid but the funny thing is that uh, he doesn't even really play with them a lot when he wants to play he actually comes uh, and jumps at us hey play with me it's time to play okay i'm gonna i'm gonna eat this there we go so much better right okay and now the last one great there we go uh why did i take this one with me Ta-da! There is the blueprint. <laughs> Just like most kids, yeah. Has a lot of toys, still bothers the parents. <laughs> okay. Let's go and take the rest of the stuff. Okay. Must have been, uh, well, must be really interesting to break in space without any reverse thrust or, or whatnot. We just stop in our tracks. <laughs> Guess that's one of our last trips. Oh, we will definitely need to to take this. We need to extract the the fabric from the plating. All right, so much food. <laughs> Just use gravity wells. Yeah, wells. <laughs> that would be lovely. Mm hmm. So much lead and plastic and food. And it's almost full. No. <laughs> and we have no other we would need more metal to to craft another storage which we might actually do which which and defcon also just stopping is not a thing in space unless a new push or pull comes into play uh, a thing keeps moving on the count of no friction yep yep i guess we had that discussion last time we played yeah for the horde take everything <laughs> <laughs> right, Belden? I completely agree. I would like to, so we most probably will need more metal to craft another container. Because there is not enough space. And yeah, we were having the discussion, Defcon, that uh, you really need reverse thrust or, or some, you know, side thrusters to stop you from moving. But not in this one. <laughs> not in this one. Hmm. Okay, that was the accelerator that we researched, and I don't know what was the new thing in here. Hmm. Okay, let's get our shears ready, because we need to get that fabric. Also, hmm... Let's see if it be if it will be wiser to leave everything down here until we have more resources to to craft four refined metals. Oh, this is what I wanted to do. Doop, 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 doop. 
<laughs> no rubber, by the way, because also rubber was obtainable via those means, like cut it out of the uh, of the walkway or whatnot. No, there is no rubber to be cut out, unfortunately. And everything we we threw out here was just collectibles. Yeah. Defcon. Oh right, sorry I get a bit forgetful sometimes. I don't know if it was us having this conversation or maybe it was Belden. <laughs> I also don't always remember. But it, you know, it's a lot of conversation within those six plus hours of streaming. <laughs> All right. So there was not a lot of space up there. I think I will keep this here for the time being. These are... This is our old equipment. A few collectibles. We can put the rest of the collectibles up there. Grumpy mole. Why do all calendars have women on them? This is complete discrimination of the male half of the population. <laughs> okay, guess I never picked it up. So there you go. Male calendars. Intergalactic forced exchange of specialists. Convenient, effective, but still remains a fantasy, unfortunately. Intergalactic forks, forced exchange of specialists. UFOs, right? <laughs> you tell him, Yuri the narrator. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's all right. And you know what? I have a, an outstanding piece of chocolate here, so I'm going to have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome back, Anti. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was enjoying a piece of chocolate again. <laughs> Defcon, I was about to annex that choco myself. Sorry, I was too fast. Oh, research complete. Hmm. And you didn't miss much. Just uh, we're, you know, doing a bit more research. And also we finally managed to transfer most, most of the stuff up to the station. Okay, what can we get out of this? I remember that there was also nothing. But let's try. For funsies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, crap. That was worth a lot of durability. Uh, Defcon picks up the... Kess's belly? What is that? How about that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> you got me. Yet again, I don't know the reference. I'm sorry. Cause for war? Okay. Is it a belly or bell? Cass's bell. Belden, nice. Just drop material, not so good.